Here's a four wide receiver set for Lufkin you know, on a balanced spread set. Now motion comes back to the near side of the field. Lufkin's going to give it up the middle, and they've got a room to run. Hilliard with the football, and now he's knocked down after about a six-yard gain. It's going to be second down and four. The clock moves here with 4.30 to go in the first half. Longview 28 and Lufkin nothing. Second down and four. Here's Claybon. They're going to throw it, and they've caught it out there at the Longview 47. And Johnson got it to the 46, and that's where he's going to be stopped at the 46-yard line. Marzell Martin made the tackle for Longview at the Longview 46-yard line. Three wise to the near side of the field. There's the give up the middle here with a football. He's got some room. He's going to clear. He's to the 20, 15, 10, 5 touchdown Lufkin. Christian Hilliard with a carry, and Lufkin's on the board with 4.03 to go in the first half. It's 28 to 6. Here's the snap. There's the kick. It's up, and it's on its way. Good. 28 to 7, Longview. We'll be back on 104.1 The Ranch after this one minute timeout. Marshall White to kick it off. Brown on the near side, and Carzell Martin on the far side. Tavares Brown on the near side of the field. Here comes White with a kick for Lufkin. This one's kicked high and it's kicked deep and it's going to go way in the back of the end zone and out of the end zone it will go. I don't believe they will, but I think if, if I were Longview, I'd be still pretty conservative, Brent, and use some of this clock because I, you don't want to give the ball back to Lufkin uh, with a lot of time left in this half. So they may be a little bit conservative down in their end, but, you know, they've always been a little bit aggressive, so we'll see what happens. Red formation for Longview from their 20. Here's the snap to Lewis. Lewis is going to run the ball up to the 25. He's to the 30 and a first down for Longview. Now Larson back in motion to the far side of the field. Here's the snap. There's the give up the middle to Mark Johnston. He bounces around. He's got some room to the 39. Second down and a couple of yards for Longview for a first down. There's Garrett. Left tackle. He's knocked down behind the line of scrimmage at the 35-yard line. 2-10, 2-9, and the clock moves. Third down and five. They throw it over the middle of Larson. It completed at the 45. Boy, oh, almost had that one, and then Carrington Bindham, the sophomore, knocked it, got a hand in it, knocked it away. And it's going to be fourth down. Longo had to punt it away. It's a good defensive play by the, uh, the sophomore. The Lufkin's fixing to get the ball back, and uh, the incompletion stops the clock, so uh, they don't have to burn a timeout, so they should get the ball back with fair field position and, and two timeouts left. Broski Smiley to, to return the ball for Lufkin. Lufkin's looks like they're, they may be going to come after the punt. Yep, Lomby's going to get a penalty. Longview moved before the snap, so they're going to get a penalty. That's going to move them back five more yards. Back to their 31 with a minute and 59 to go in the half. It's 28 to 7. Lufkin going to get a pretty good field position out of this punt exchange. You just don't want to unravel here right before the half. I mean, this is Longview has totally dominated this first half. Last possession, Lufkin got a score 28 7. They're fixing to get the ball back, and they're probably going to get good field position. Here's Decker to punt from about his 20-yard line. Nice snap. Here's the kick. End over end. It's going to get a long view bounce and be killed at the 41-yard line of Lufkin. So with a minute and 49 to go in the half, Lufkin's got the football. Longview leads 28 to 7. Lufkin with the ball at their own 41. And this is a critical series for Longview's defense, Brent. You don't want to give this half back with by two late scores to Lufkin. 28-yard punt, no return. Into a pretty stiff breeze. So Lufkin's got the football at their own 40, just across their 40-yard line. First down and 10, a minute and 49 to go in the half. 28 to 7, Longview leads. Lufkin football. And somewhere in this drive, they're going to try to go up top and hit the big pass. Here comes motion. It's to the near side. They're going to throw it back to the far side of the field. Lufkin's got some room. It is Harrington for the ball to Lufkin's 43. It is Christian Hilliard. 
That'll stop the clock. Lufkin and Longview's 43-yard line, first and 10, 28 to 7. Longview leads, and Lufkin with the ball at Longview's 43-yard line. First down and 10, Lufkin. Lay Bond from the spread. He's going to drop back and roll to the near side. Got a lot of room to run. He's up the field to the 30. Out of bounds he goes at the 25-yard line. First and 10, Lufkin at Longview's 25. A minute and 23 to go in the half. So Lufkin, the last two possessions, a score now to Longview 25, 28 to 7. A minute and 23 to go here in the first half. Well, in this drive too, Brent, they've... Uh run two big plays and they've gotten out of bounds it's not had to burn either of their two two timeouts at long three yeah longview's 25 they will scrimmage they've got all three of their times out left at longview's 25 here's clay bond they give this one to hilliard he's knocked down the line of scrimmage that's a tackle by cordarian solomon for longview hilliard with the carry stopped by cordarian solomon Second down and 10, Lufkin. This one's under a minute and the clock moves. 28 to seven, Longview. Second down and 10. Clay Bond's gonna bootleg it back to the far side of the field. He's got it outside and he's gonna be tackled at the 18. It's right. third down. Bootleg and again, Longview lost containment on the uh right side and uh, once he's able to turn it outside the containment he can either throw or run depending on what the secretary does and that time he makes a run and picks up yardage. Lufkin's call timeout and we'll take it with him and be back in one minute. On Three, two, one. Here's a quick pass for Lufkin. They caught it and out of bounds at the 12. It's first and 10 Lufkin with 41 seconds to go in the first half. Lufkin's got a first down at Longview's 12 yard line. Lufkin lead, or Longview leads 28 to seven and Lufkin threatening to cut it to a two score game. That's a little quick pass to Eric Johnson. He picks up the first down and also stops the clock. So 41 seconds, but Lufkin has all three timeouts left. The ball on the 12 yard line. And on view uh, with their backs against the wall here. I sure have it right now. Here's Clay Bond. They give it up the middle to Christian here. He's knocked down to five. And, excuse me, they only have two timeouts left. They used one earlier. Luck is taking a timeout. They've got one more. We've got, uh, it's about the five. We'll be back. In Welcome back everyone. It's second down and three for Lufkin at Longview's five yard line. 28 to seven Longview. We have 35 seconds left to go here in this first half from Lobo Stadium. First, second down and three for a first down for Lufkin. They do have Lewis in the backfield, Brent, so you might expect him to get the ball. Here's Clay Bond, gonna run it to the near side of the field, and he got in. It's a touchdown for Lufkin. 28 to 13 with 29 seconds to go here in the first half. Five yard run on the second and three by Clay Bond for the touchdown. So Lufkin has scored on their last two possessions, and it's 28 to 13. They're gonna make, try to make it a 14, sec, a 14 game. They'll kick the extra point. Here comes Marshall White on to kick it. Zach Taylor will snap it back, and Eric Johnson will hold. Particularly the kick for Lufkin is Marshall White. Here's the snap, the kick is up good. 28 to 14, Longview leads with 29 seconds to go in the first half. We'll be back on 104.1 The Ranch after this one minute timeout. 28 to 14, Brown and Martin back to return the kick. 29 seconds to go in the first half. Here comes the kick from White. Here's a long high kick. It's gonna go to the end zone and out of the back of the end zone. You know, they're in their uh, protective formation mode. They're yep. gonna take a knee. Yep, they're gonna let it run out. It's probably yeah. the thing to do. They're gonna let it run out. Lufkin's not going to stop it. And we'll go to halftime in Lobo Stadium, a sold-out Lobo Stadium. 
28 to 14, Longview. We'll be back on 104.1 The Ranch after this two-minute timeout.